So our business that we're presenting is Ride Outfitters. Our group consists of Gina Hess, Josh Robinson, Cody Seiler, and Monica Stamper. Uh, Ride Outfitters is, in addition to being a retail store, is also a specialty shop that specializes in bike repair and fittings. Uh, it's owned by Ron Romano and services the Bourbonnet and Kankakee area. It seeks to build a local reputation as the best place um, to have your bike serviced and fitted so that um, customers can have a better riding experience. So for the demographics, um, most people who ride are between 18 and 40, but you know it's never concrete. We do offer some children's bikes. Um, a lot of old people just getting getting out, getting active. Uh, they're also looking for something. So we offer comfort bikes for them. Uh, they seem to really enjoy it, and it's kind of picking up. Um, there's definitely a lot of people who are looking to get back into fitness uh, when, they, when they turn to cycling. Sports like running are just really hard on your body, and they're harder to jump into as someone new into the fitness industry. And people who are looking for quality products, like sure you can go to Walmart or Target or whatever and pick up a bike, but we tell most people that we'll see them back there the next year because they're getting serviced. Um, people who are buying our bikes are, are in it for a longer haul and they're, they're not buying bikes on a whim. Okay, so for our geography, most of the, the products we sell uh, are to local residents. Um, I'm sure there's the exception where we uh, sell people out of state or we go to trade shows, stuff like that. Um, but that's really not our main business. There's people who have more resources and more like e-commerce and things like that that do much better than us and we just can't afford to do both. Um, and then what we cater to are the, the people who Ride the Prairie Trail or the State Park. The State Park, um, they're real popular. They're they're fun for people just looking to get into it. Okay, um, cycling is becoming more accepted once again. There's a whole problem with cycling once the blood doping incident with Lance Armstrong came out, and, and cycling was kind of seen as like a cheater sport for a while. Luckily, that's changing around. Uh, sales are starting to go back up, seeing as some fun and recreational to do. Um, every year, there's five as many bikes sold as there are cars. So there's definitely, if you can imagine the, uh, the amount of bikes that are sold worldwide and in the local area. Um, there are parts of the country that have record sales, California, Georgia, Tennessee, um, all mountainous states where there's cycling is huge. Illinois, we kind of had a rough winter, so we're suffer suffering a little bit. But I mean, overall, we're still growing as a community. And uh, here's our SWOT analysis. Strengths are we have the highest quality products, and we offer offer great service. Um, yeah, we another thing too. There's there's other companies that do what we do online, but you know you're never gonna be able to just pop in and get your bike work done over the internet. One of our weaknesses, though, is being a smaller bike shop. We can't afford to carry as much as some other people, like Walmart or Dick's, something like that. However, we, what we tell people is we can get product usually in a store and built in a week. So it's not a crazy waiting time or anything like that. It's just not on hand all the time. Um, well, some of the opportunities that we do have to grow, though, there is Olivet. Um, it's great having a, a, a campus you know, store, however. A lot of people on campus you don't even know about us, so that's somewhere we do have to strengthen, do have to get a younger following. And threats, something that kills us is the winners. Uh, we, we have to shut down sometimes, for, like this year we shut down for all of February. So if we can figure out something to do for those winter months, maybe start e-commerce. We've thought about carrying different products, like running shoes, something in the winter that'll keep us going, but nothing that's been financially doable. Okay, and uh, like I said, our largest competitors are department stores and 
the rival bike shop in town turning the wheels. Uh, sometimes when we don't have something in stock or we can't get something in stock, we will turn people away to the, uh, to the other bike store, but we try to stick away from that. Um, what the other people do better? Just, they're bigger. They're cycling conglomerates, if you will. Um, but, you know, what we make up for is friendly service, and we're not pushy. We'll, we'll get you what you need, and it'll be friendly. Um, some of our keys to success, uh, keys to in our environment, are we listen to customers' wants and needs. It'd be cool if we could carry, you know, ten thousand dollar road bikes all the time, uh, but that's not what people want. Uh, what we usually end up selling are more hybrid bikes, bikes for the casual rider, commuters, stuff like that. So we do tend to listen to our, our audience and get them what they want. Like I said, our, our community is growing, but in Illinois, being that it's Illinois, it's still relatively small. So we're working on growing that. So our marketing strategy. Um, Ride Out Twitter has planned its marketing strategy around three main goals. Uh, one is to update its logo and website um, of the store to create a visual branding that aligns with the shop's objective of becoming a community-oriented, friendly business. Um, we will update its color scheme and a uh, uh, new logo will be uh, created. The shop will focus on printing eight and a half by 11 inch uh, print posters and 11 by 17 inch flyers. Um, they'll be placed around the community in different locations like Starbucks or um, just different boards around uh, all of its campus to try to get some recognition. Um, Next slide. Um, right Outfitters' uh, financial objectives are to maintain a steady revenue, especially through the winter months. Hopefully, the, the shop would like to increase sales and promotion um, uh, of community events in order to avoid closing in the winter. Um, marketing objectives of the shop are to reach more customers uh, on all of its campus through posters, social media, and word of mouth advertising. Ride Outfitters is willing to provide discounts on bike repairs or, or to work uh, with the average college student's uh, limited budget. Um, Ride Outfitters will also seek to sponsor biking events at Olivet's campus to increase store awareness using social media such as Instagram and Facebook. The store can uh, work to increase the knowledge of potential customers on the benefits of biking um, and health related activities and the need for high quality equipment. Um, Ride Out Fitters would like to position the shop as a healthy lifestyle center and allow customers to feel part of the riding community. Uh, the current social trends uh, focus in health and fitness. Um, sorry, the current social trend fo is focusing on health and fitness um, and it is impetus for such a position. Um, by promoting weekly rides, sponsoring local bike events, Ride Outfitters can work to spread its name while building up the local community. And Ride Outfitters marketing mix, break, mix breaks down as follows. The product offered, products offered are top of the line mountain bikes and road bikes along with accessories. Um, promotions will be in the form of print, word of mouth, social media pages, and event sponsoring. And the place is a specialty retailer, and pricing is um, product line pricing. So this is the logo I created. Um, I kept up with current design trends of being flat, and uh, what's really popping up now is super bright, bold colors. So, yeah. And this is um, an advertisement. This isn't necessarily what it would look like. This is just a proposal of a general idea. Financials, Ride Outfitters didn't provide any detailed information about their sales or anything like that, but we did estimate that um, by focusing on social media advertising, word of mouth, and low cost uh, printing of posters, Ride Outfitters could bring in more sales by reaching a younger market on Olivet, 
um, for relatively low invest investment, and there would be the intangible benefits of building up its reputation as um, the go-to repair shop in town and um, building up a community-oriented sort of reputation. And for controls, uh, plan to uh, monitor success by looking at the analytics of our social media pages. Most of the responsibility would fall to the store's owner uh, once we got the whole system in place. But um, talking with customers, sending out email surveys would be another way to gain research about whether we're succeeding or not. And um, response to the new logo advertising on Olivet's campus would, um, would be one of the ways that we would keep monitoring that. End of our presentation.